today we're back in the Hunter Classic, and we're going for yet another Whitetail Hunt, but this time we're trying to complete the Summer Fiesta mission, so I went through the first two mission packs in the last couple of days, and I knew these ones just kind of required a trophy-sized animal, and my plan is to do a video on each of these last five missions, but anyway, we're here on Red Feather Falls, and we're going to see if we can complete this first mission, which is a 170 Whitetail with any vertical bow, so basically any bow that's not a crossbow. And lately, anytime we've done a Whitetail Hunt, I've kind of started up at this stand, and I thought we'd maybe save that towards the end. So we spawned down here at the South Lodge. And I want to just kind of walk up through here. This is traditionally one of the best whitetail routes in the entire game. Just kind of go maybe all the way through to this area. And then at that point we'll kind of decide if we want to fast travel down to this stand. Or maybe we'll even go down through this area. There's a bunch of different places we can go. But hopefully we can just get our 170 whitetail on the main route. That is not the buck I was calling in. Okay. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, he's definitely not 170. But there's a really tiny, like, 50 scoring buck. And that one's way better, so now that he's walking again, we'll go ahead and try to get him. I don't know where he came from, because we kind of stopped over at that tower. And I didn't hear anything run off, so I think our other buck's coming in, but that's just a doe. But yeah, I stopped at this tower here and just kind of called and only a couple of those came in so I just got out of the tower and snuck around them but he's coming from that direction so I really have no idea where he was but I can't hear that other guy I think the water was too deep or something and he wouldn't cross it so he's not far away but maybe if he was still on the other side and hadn't started crossing yet maybe he didn't hear that so let's just take a look at this guy real quick and I might have just seen movement there it could have been him but 148 and if I did, I don't see it now, but we'll wait and see, because I'd at least like to get that out of the way just so we're not hearing his grunt and tracking him later. But yeah, that's the guy that I thought we were going to be starting with, so worked a little better to start with the 140s, but I'm going to try to get kind of around here so the angle's better. We'll see if we can just get rid of him. There's... Oh, that's not a bad moose. What is going on over here? There's a doe coming in. I definitely want to get that guy, though. I mean, he's 165 to 190. I don't think we're going to get away with shooting the doe and not spooking the moose, because I'm really, I'm not sure how he didn't spook the first time. I guess... What is happening? There's two does. If he spooks, we're going to use the gun. And yeah, as expected, he spooked. Unfortunately, I hadn't loaded that yet, but I think we can get him. And we may just fast travel then, I'm not sure. That was a tree. And that's at least another hit, so hopefully he goes down. I just wanted to get him since he's solid. And since there's so many deer over here, it may actually be worth moving anyway, because I'd say we saw a good number of them. I don't know if these two does would have been the ones that I called in over at that tower. But if they weren't, that's at least like six different deer that have been in this area. But yeah, little 59 scoring whitetail. And hopefully that was enough to bring that moose down. I don't know if we hit anything very solid, but two hits might be enough. I'm honestly kind of impressed, because from what the blood said, it was just two body hits, and I guess maybe the one in the skull really helped that along, but 187 moose is not bad. I mean, it's not huge or anything, but definitely one worth taking a picture of. And I don't know, maybe I won't fast travel, because it wasn't that difficult to track. We'll at least go a little while, and if everything's kind of just fleeing tracks and stuff, then maybe we will. That's a bit disappointing. So, I had his track, and he was 80 to 100 kilos, which I was really open could maybe be our 170, but we'll be lucky if he's even 110. But at least, since he was heavy, he didn't take that long to track. And it won't be one that we get a track of later and spend forever following. But yeah, um, I did fast travel. And to be honest, there's been nothing over here. And the biggest reason I did fast travel was to get around a couple of does and cow moose that kept on fleeing like further ahead of me and that would have been spooking other things. But it's been nearly long enough that we can fast travel again. And you can see I kind of went fairly far back tracking him. So we have actually not even any time to wait. I guess we will fast travel down here because it just seems like there's not many whitetail on this side of the map. And we have a grunt there from a whitetail, so... Maybe that'll be something for our mission. Or not quite. 40 to 65 on that's probably not going to reach 170, but I mean, there could be other bucks in the area. This is a spot where I tend to get several whitetail bucks, and I do see 
I think two different does coming in over here, but I don't really ever come down here later in hunts. I pretty much only start here, so that is a good sound to hear. And it is another whitetail, so blacktail frequent this area as well. And I was kind of hoping it wasn't going to be that, but yeah, maybe this was actually a good decision then, but we got to be careful because I would say that is the direction this guy's going to run if we don't make a drop shot, so I want to make sure he actually drops and doesn't spook the one we haven't seen yet. Okay, so he's kind of past the tree stand now. And only single lung, so good thing that he kind of did get past the stand. As long as he keeps kind of just going in that direction, I think we'll be okay. And the more of this he does running around near us, the better, because he's not going to last that long. Although that is exactly where our other buck grunted from, so I don't like that. Well, at least we didn't spook him. But he's not much better, 45 to 70. And this guy's down right here beside him, but I guess we'll still wait. Uh, there's another something walking in over there, but that looks like a doe. Yeah, so, I mean, maybe we'll just drop the does with the bow and sit here and call for a little while and see, because it does seem like there's a lot of deer down here, and maybe ones that are bigger aren't being so vocal. I don't know if maybe it was the first one that we shot that maybe spooked one of the other does, but we only had the one come in, and I don't see any sign to the other one, so... I think we're good to drop him, and we'll just kind of sit here and see if anything else shows up. It sure doesn't seem like anything else is coming in, so I think we'll just grab our whitetail here and probably try somewhere else, but at least we didn't have to use a bunch of arrows on the does, because, like I said, I guess maybe that first buck fleeing spooked the other one, but you don't really gain anything as far as GM go from shooting does, so good to not really have to use up the arrows on them. I'm really not sure how we messed this one up, by the way, because shooting down through the back like it spine one is an instant drop and somehow we I guess got in front of that and got a shoulder blade but then missed the heart but anyway he didn't mess up our hunt so that was okay that's a really really nice looking moose he's 205 to 230 so definitely gonna be a good one and maybe one that actually replaces one of the moose we have in the trophy lodge so I just started this hunt I want to try to get him with the bow he's gonna end up charging us or something but yeah, when they look at you like that and then they start walking again, they almost always end up charging. But anyway, I just started this hunt. This hunt probably number 5 or 6 for a 170 whitetail, and I just cannot seem to crack that number. But we'll definitely take a good moose. And got that heart shot in there on the walk, but 213. That's not bad. He's lower end of the estimate. I don't think I would need to replace anything. I'm pretty sure we have like a 216 and a 221 or something, but not bad. Definitely a good way to start off this hunt, so maybe a good sign that we're going to actually get that 170 on this one, but yeah, um, not a lot has happened other than the occasional like 150s, even maybe one 160s whitetail, so hopefully we can break that. Alright, this guy definitely could be big enough. He's 155 to 180, and he looks like he's got solid time length, so I really hope this is the one. I can't believe how long it's taken just to find a buck even with an estimate that could make it. Because he's the first one even above 170. I think 160 or 165 is the best estimate I've seen. So I really hope that's the one. And of course, we had to take him with the bow for the mission. But I do see a short time there that's definitely not going to hurt us. But hopefully he makes it. He looks definitely like right in that 170 area. 172. All right. Thank goodness. This mission is finally over. I really thought that would be... A quick like hour to hour and a half long hunt but naturally when you need a 170 it's a little more difficult and I think we're just gonna go with that for the trophy shot but man I really didn't expect that to be as difficult as it was but it honestly led us to a couple of really nice kills along the way so I can't complain about that but I did look the next mission is mule deer over 200 on loggers point so probably relatively similar difficulty and maybe we can actually get it done in one hunt but anyway that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.